You're getting to witness geological history in real time. Scientists monitoring the East African Rift are tracking three main threats. First, earthquakes. The region experiences thousands every year. Most are too small to feel, but not all. In 2020, seismic swarms in the Afar region included hundreds of tremors over several weeks as magma moved beneath the surface. Scientists say that this pattern will continue for thousands of years to come. Second, we have more ground openings. The cracks in Kenya and Ethiopia are normal for this process, but they're becoming more frequent. What geologists used to observe once every few decades now happens every few years. Surface ruptures will become increasingly common across the rift zone as time passes. And third, volcanic eruptions. The stakes are high. Nyiragongo threatens a city of 2 million people. Scientists tracking magma movements have identified dozens of volcanic systems showing increased activity. We're at the beginning of what could be centuries of heightened volcanic activity along the rift. But let's zoom out for a second. All of these events, the cracks, the earthquakes, the eruptions, are all part of a larger process. In 5 to 10 million years, East Africa will likely be a separate island continent. A new ocean will flood the Rift Valley, connecting the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. The ground opening in Kenya is the first chapter of a story that will take millions of years to complete. The new coastline will create a smaller Africa, and a new continent geologists call Nubia on the west and Somalia on the east. Cities like Addis Ababa, Nairobi, and Kampala, currently landlocked, could become coastal port cities. Now, you might be thinking, why should I care about any of this? You just said this was millions of years away. Well, here's why. Understanding these things helps us better predict things like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and disasters that actually affect people today. The cracks opening now, the earthquakes this year, the volcanic threats this month, are all part of a larger process. Knowing it's only the beginning helps us to prepare and to protect lives. But here's another reason, and this is the big one to me. You're getting to witness geological history in real time. Most people never get to see this. The ground beneath your feet, the continents, the oceans, none of it is permanent. Everything changes, and we're actually getting to live through one of those changes.